A new study's refuted claims pill testing would encourage drug use at music festivals. In fact, the research has revealed it does the opposite, with calls now for a nationwide trial. At a big day out festival in 2009, Gemma Toms overdosed on ecstasy, swallowing three pills to avoid being caught by police sniffer dogs. For her mother, Peter, the pain of losing a child is still raw. I still get emotional. I still think about her every single day and wish she was with me. She's now backing calls for pill testing to be trialled at music festivals across Australia after new research suggested it would reduce drug use. But when you're at a festival and there are these services set up with signage indicating the harms of we found this in this pill, we found this in this particular product, it makes that risk real. The study conducted by Edith Cowan University spoke with 247 festival goers and found pill testing doesn't encourage people to try ecstasy but does increase the chances of users deciding not to take the pills. One of the main arguments against pill testing is that it sends the wrong message to those using drugs and gives people permission to engage in illegal activity. Many of those opposed to the concept believe there should be a zero tolerance approach. People who make one off bad decision um, shouldn't die for making that bad decision. Pill testing has been trialled in the ACT twice in recent years. Drug dumping bins also tested around the country but many state leaders maintain a hard-line approach. We've ruled that out already. Uh, that's not on our agenda. I can't understand why you wouldn't want to support saving young kids' lives. Brendan Crew for 10 News First.